Meanwhile, in the weeks following the historic demonstrations in China against zero COVID-19 lockdowns against Chinese President Xi Jinping, now the president appears to show some kind of empathy. But behind the scenes, China has now begun rounding up the demonstrators whom authorities view as instigators of a social unrest. Early in December 2022, she told the European Council president that the demonstrators were mainly students and teenagers frustrated with the pandemic. The Chinese leader followed that up with a New Year's address, saying that it was only natural for 1.4 billion people to have different views. China is a big country. Different people will have different demands and different views on the same thing, which is normal. It is necessary to build consensus through communication and consultation. But Chinese authorities, meanwhile, began detaining those involved in the demonstrations in the country. Reports say more than 100 demonstrators have been detained. People with knowledge of the detention say that at least 12 people are in custody. Most are reportedly in their 20s and recently started their careers. Several graduated from top educational institutions. Now, these mass demonst demonstrations have gripped major cities at the end of November over a deadly fire at a lockdown apartment building in Xinjiang. Some protesters called for freedom of speech, while others even demanded Xi himself to step down. China typically wastes no time in putting out statements about punishing the instigators of social unrest. However, the, the quietness nature of the detentions this time reflects the dilemma that the Chinese President Xi Jinping and the Communist Party faces.